The Mysterious Case of the Woman Lost in Space It's the year 2020 and space travel has been successfully attempted by 37 countries in the world. But traveling in space is certainly not for the weak and it took many attempts before the first successful space travel could happen. In 1961, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first ever human to take a journey into outer space, making a 108-minute orbital flight in his Vostok 1 spacecraft. While the Soviet Union and the USA were caught up in a space race, there were many experiments, failures, and setbacks they underwent. After the Soviets' success, the USA sent Alan Shepard, who became the second human and the first American to travel in space. Before USA could send a second man, it was rumored that Russia prepared to send their own man but this time, he would travel into multiple orbits, beating Gagarin's feet. The USA however beat them to this. That's when Russia decided to reach another breakthrough by sending the first woman in space. While NASA's efforts were widely publicized and scrutinized, the Soviets never announced a space mission until days after it was successfully launched or completed. This allowed them to emit stories about their failures. Some of their photos from space missions have also allegedly been airbrushed or altered to crop out information. So, the lost cosmonauts are subjects of a conspiracy theory alleging that some Soviet astronauts went to outer space but never made it back to Earth, and their existence was never publicly acknowledged by the Soviets. Now, here comes the mysterious part, and enter two brothers, Achille and Giovanni Giudica Cordiglia. They were two Italian radio operators who claimed to have found some mysterious audio recordings of many secret Russian space missions that ended in tragedy or mystery. Their recordings included voices of a spacecraft going off course, and SIR's Morse code signal from a troubled aircraft, and several audios of astronauts suffocating to death or screaming for help. Three days before the announcement of Yuri Gagarin's success, the brothers had claimed to record the audios from an aircraft that had successfully orbited the Earth. Among the speculated experimental missions, there's one particular case that's in equal parts dubious and very well uncool. The brothers claim to have found an extremely mysterious recording. In the audio, a woman could be heard asking for help and screaming in Russian. It was believed to be from an aircraft that had successfully orbited in space and was trying to re-enter the atmosphere. Before the woman could return, something went terribly wrong. Whatever happened next is unexplained and no one knows what exactly happened. The recordings of this poor woman could send chills down anyone's spine. Although the recordings are not proved till date, it is believed that the aircraft was trying to return to Earth after one week in space. By that point, the oxygen supplies were running out and were nearly depleted. Things turned for the worse and something went awry as the aircraft began heating up while trying to land back. The woman cosmonaut ended up communicating through radio signal, where she was heard asking for help. Listen. Talk to me. I am hot. Isn't this dangerous? How should I transmit? I feel hot. It's all hot. I can see flames. Am I going to crash? I feel hot. I will re-enter. These recordings were captured, in which she says she is feeling hot and can see flames, after which her voice suddenly stops and the radio goes silent. It appears that the re-entry wasn't going well and the ship was gaining too much heat as the poor woman slowly succumbed to the rising temperature. Her voice begins to get emotional towards the end, knowing that her fate was sealed. This strange recording became very famous and is speculated to be true by many believers since Russia had also sent Laika, the first dog to travel into space, who had met a similar fate. The findings of the two brothers were denied as mere hoaxes by Russia and it never claimed the incident publicly. Several other researchers also dismissed the findings. Russia is also believed to have doctored and morphed many photographs to remove any traces of these lost cosmonauts. Few investigators even tracked down some of these men and confirmed that they were still alive. 
However, every single one of these humans could not be found and became a reason enough for many people to believe in the creepy recordings. Russia ultimately bagged the record to successfully send the first woman in 1963, cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova achieved this featuring by spending three days in space. With so many attempts of manned spaced missions and their inherent risk factors, we will never know the entire truth during the initial days of the space race, and it remains a shrouded mystery. But it certainly is quite scary to think of the possibility of several dead humans wandering aimlessly in the mysterious, dark, and silent cosmos. Thank you for watching this video, for more interesting videos please like our channel and hit the subscribe button.